Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. Today we are going to see a small video on carbides in ductile iron. I am Sandeep Kulkarni, business mentor from Kolapur. Welcome you to this small video from Dynamic Foundry Group YouTube channel. So let us start with our presentation. Carbides. Carbide may occur in all iron carbon alloys as a defect during solidification depending on the chemical composition and wall thickness that is cooling rate regardless of the molding and the casting process carbide intrusions are characterized by poor machinability of the material and therefore increased wear toll moreover carbide intrusions cause deterioration of the mechanical properties as well Main factors including carbide formation in thin section ductile iron such as high solidification cooling rate results in rapid heat extraction that promotes carbide. Low carbon equivalent, excessive magnesium that is higher magnesium residual magnesium, higher rare earth content can cause you this carbide. Carbide are not required phase of matrix. Remember, carbides are not required phase of matrix. It reduces machinability. Higher chromium, higher manganese, poor inoculation practice, high residual magnesium, cold metal, and faster cooling rate can promote formation of carbide. These are some of the pictures showing you the microstructure of having carbide matrix so this is how the carbide look like in the microstructure matrix of ductile iron so conclusion these are the elements which if go above the limit can cause you carbide promotion. Phosphorus above 0.05 will give you car carbide that is phosphide detecting. So controlling phosphorus below 05 is very important. Manganese can give you segregation if it is above 0.7 in ductile iron. Chromium is a very important element as it crosses a limit of 0.04 or 0.05 in ductile iron can give you stable carbide which is very difficult to remove even after the heat treatment. So controlling chromium below 04 or below 05 in ductile iron is very essential. Elements like antimony, arsenic, cerium, lead, moly and terbium also can be carbide promoter if they cross their limit Inductile line. The details of limit and the sources are also mentioned in the attached table. Last but not least, magnesium also can promote carbide if it crosses the limit of 0.06% in ductile iron. Though magnesium is essential for preparation or formation of neutrality in ductile iron. The excess residual magnesium that is above 0.06 can promote carbides and thus hamper your machinability and also give rise to shrinkage tendency. So controlling these elements within the limit is essential to avoid poor machinability and to reduce or to eliminate the carbide formation. So this is from my side. Thank you very much for patient hearing. If you like this video, kindly press bell icon button and subscribe Dynamic Foundry Group and join our Dynamic Foundry family for getting more and more foundry knowledge in future. Thank you. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.